we have the evidence, the evidence. They've got the evidence. They can impeach Joe Biden. 14th Amendment to remove former President Trump's name from the ballot. Now, the secretaries of state in three and key not, battleground not states are sorry. responding to those calls. His not, actions on January. Not just his name, by the way, his ability to actually be a candidate. It's not, it's not like his name's not on there, but you could write him in. He still can't hold office. That's still kind of important. Where is this guy? All right. This is. January 6th um, amounted to um, uh, that the, they were in violation of him protecting the Constitution. Therefore, under the 14th Amendment, he, could, he has disqualified himself from being a candidate. We've been saying all along that mm -hmm. Section 3 of the 14th Amendment presents a clear and unequivocal statement. Donald Trump is disqualified. Well, they're all crazy political people. Well, they're all crazy. I, you know, that's the thing. I don't know what's supposed to happen. Uh, everybody who just spoke, except actually for the first one. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. But secretaries of state are listening and they're trying to get Trump off the ballot in some key states because all these... Because he... Uh, gave aid and comfort to enemies of the Constitution, and that's what the law says. Indictments are not working. Mm, no. The, it, the indictments are immaterial to it. The indictments, you can still run as a criminal in general. Now, if he's found guilty, the 14th Amendment, they won't even, there won't be an argument about this. The question is, they're already in the process of doing it because uh, under their feeling of, there's no, you don't have to be charged with insurrection or rebellion um, to, you know, to be removed from the ballot. It can just simply be the general knowledge of it. You don't have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt any of that shit because of the Civil War, quite frankly. So they can just do it because they they saw what he did and they it's pretty obvious. Donald Trump in many polls is beating Joe Biden right here. He's tied with Joe Biden. You no, you think that's, the that's the Wall Street Journal um, and the same polling company they used was paid by the Trump campaign uh, for that poll, $600,000. Fourth indictment, would it change things? <laughs> it's <laughs> making him stronger. Let's bring in our panel, Lindsey Halligan, the great attorney representing Donald Trump. And and uh, and uh, Matt Gates, uh, far away in a little cube because she wouldn't be on the show with him unless he was uh, far away. There you go. Oh, thank you. What, Chud? Congressman Matt Gates, Republican of Florida and occasional host of the Great Kelly Show. <laughs> Welcome to you both. God damn. Just imagine that face staring down at you. Just look at that. I. That great job, Congressman. Uh, but look, a lot's going on and we can do this a bunch of different ways. But Congressman, first to you, what's top of mind for you tonight and all this swirl of stuff that we're in? Well, it's ridiculous that for the sake of democracy, what he's in his garage. And I like the fact that he's got, you can't see it on here. Hold on one second. Uh, he's in his garage. He's got his Liberty podcast thing up in the corner. You can see he's got a bench press over here. That's a, uh, that's a, that's a, you see the bar right there is the part of the bench or whatever. Aren't any weights on it. Uh, so he's obviously just gotten done working out. What some of these glorified librarians masquerading as election officials are telling us is that we have to have fewer choices in deciding who our own leaders are. Our own leaders are, okay. Um, no, 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 they're just, uh, you know, un unfortunately for you guys, you seem to be hell-bent on presenting a single choice from your side of the aisle that is pre-disqualified because you are indeed, in doing so, continuing to give aid and comfort to enemies of the Constitution. And so it's pretty easy to diagnose the two-tier justice system that we have now, 91 charges against President Trump. Meanwhile, you've got a pile of evidence against Joe Biden strong enough to convict O.J. Simpson in South Central Los Angeles, and yet we're sort of... Oh, I see, because black people wouldn't... I see. A nice, nice shot across the bow there that I see that the idea is that you could even make, you got so much evidence, you could convict OJ in front of black people. That's, it's, it's classy. That's a classy way of putting it. You know, that's, uh, it, that is definitely, um, you know, the, uh, inside the circle 
kind of language. We're tepidly talking about maybe beginning an inquiry. We have bank records. We have flight logs. We right. None of it amounts to a hill of beans. We have changes in administration policy. No, you don't. If we aren't willing to impeach Joe Biden with the evidence we have, why are we even looking? So the question is whether or not Republicans will have sufficient spine to do what is necessary. I also says the gelatinous version of the big boy statue. I also think that we've got this real converging crisis on government funding right now, Greg. And, you know, the way to go. Out it's, yeah, it's not a crisis. It's a I, I suppose it's a self-inflicted wound. At After best. the deep state, the way to stop this stuff is to cut the money off. I'm very disappointed. We don't have the 12 individual appropriations bills that we demanded in January. And we're probably going to have to do something about that. Yeah, you're probably going to have to pass a continuing resolution because you're a bunch of fuck-ups. Yeah, we know. Yeah, un undoing efficiencies from before because you don't have your shit together is not a legislative uh, tactic. Lindsey Halligan, this 14th Amendment stuff, uh, it's another front for you guys. Do you take it seriously? Where do you see this thing going? No, I, it's as, according to, I think it's Judge Luddig and Lawrence Tribe, uh, those are the two people that are pushing this. Um, according to them, one single individual has standing to challenge whether an, another individual is qualified to hold public office. The framers of our Constitution would have never, ever, ever wanted that. So I don't think that's going anywhere. Um, <laughs> one single, in there, no. No, stupid. Does anybody know what the fuck that even means? There's only one person that can stop Donald Trump from running, and that's Justice Alito or something. <whistles> Make a barrage of content. I will. I'm working on it, Fran. Um, run, run that by me again, dipshit. Um, these are attorney generals of states. They have absolutely the, the standings to do this. I honestly can't grasp what she's trying to say here. Is qualified to hold. Hold on. Pushing this. Um, according to them, one single individual has standing to challenge whether an, another individual is qualified to hold public office. The framers of our Constitution would have never, ever, ever wanted that. So. <laughs> what, what would they want? People with fucking torches to come up? and demand that individuals can't run in every state what you're supposed it's only the riotous mob what do you talk uh, someone can file if if, they, if one person goes that person actually paid me to attack the country and they go i don't think they should be allowed to run for office that's one person that one person could go this person engaged in an insurrection against the constitution of the united states after they had sworn an oath to protect it and uphold it, and uh, they gave aid and comfort uh, as they uh, paid for my hotel room and cradled my bowels. I don't think that's going anywhere. Yeah, well, uh, you do you get the feeling this is this woman is ridiculously gorgeous for an attorney, and I. Does, does Donald Trump's yellow pages have a centerfold? Um, because I he does not seem to be hiring people based on their qualifications to understand the law he is up against. Um, I know yesterday uh, Jack Smith filed uh, a, a complaint in the January 6th case alleging that uh, Donald Trump's truth posts are potentially uh, tainting the jury pool. Right, yeah. And to it, we responded immediately with a brief going, yeah, we know, that's the point. Well, I think this 14th Amendment stuff uh, is potentially tainting the jury pool. Yeah, that's not, look, you, just because you're guilty of other shit and people are across the country are taking necessary steps to deal with your guilt doesn't point to a coordinated effort by Jack Smith's office. As a matter of fact, he probably would rather that stuff wait until after he has convicted Donald Trump. I think the January 6th committee, um, the fact that that was publicized. 
for everyone to see and it was completely one-sided that um... well in all fairness it was only one-sided because democrats didn't attack the fucking capital uh has potentially tainted the jury pool potentially <laughs> yeah yes because before this people wouldn't have known that donald trump is a pussy grabbing punk second generation rich kid who's been faking his billions all this time uh and i know uh congressman uh, gates knows all about that the, the committee's 18th month month investigation is i'm pretty sure the most extensive probe in congressional history and <laughs> well yeah because we've already dealt with this there's like 12,000 hours of footage from the interior cameras and and probably eight to ten times that in facebook live videos to look at and all the text messages between these dickheads and all the lead up and the stuff they said afterwards going if i had the shot i'd have brought a gun um and the other people going i did bring a gun i should have used it because it was done all behind closed doors the full extent of what was collected is unknown um and so with all that millions Excuse me, miss. If, if uh, the full extent of what was collected is uh, unknown, then those unknown items uh, more than likely won't end up ahem, tainting the jury pool. And millions of pages of material. Um, how much of how much of that material does Jack Smith or Fonnie Willis have? And <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's public material all of it they've got all of it here's a good idea work with your fucking client and demand access to that stuff and how much of that material has not been disclosed to president trump uh, so yeah <laughs> yeah they probably like who the feds are and how this all started and uh yeah and um it's uh it's just a thing with the thing anything hold on one second um let's go up here ba, 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 ba. yeah no she's crazy she is totally nuts okay um yeah so there's a lot going on here sure i mean you turn on the tv uh media 24 7 big tech and you got one social media account from donald trump you know i it's wild they're saying it's wild. It's almost like he signed a contract with this stupid little fucking dumpy site that he created for himself that nobody goes to. And instead of just being staying within the terms of service like a fucking adult, he used these social media platforms to coordinate the Jan 6 attack and then afterwards was completely unrepentant about it and still continues to push bullshit that violates their terms of service. By the way, people push bullshit all the time, but in like violate the terms of service to these sites because they don't apply to him and then shocked when he gets kicked off or can't use them meanwhile by the way again if i may uh, but, uh sidebar sidebar if i may thanks for the heads up guys uh i honest to god have no idea why that would have been muted i uh, didn't go anywhere near that uh button i didn't at all i didn't do it that I didn't fucking touch a fucking thing. Um, all right. So now that said, if I may, um, let me move this over here. Shoot. I always have a hard time f fire my sound engineer. I am my sound engineer. God damn it. Um, so uh, he posts the pictures of the people who died um, in the bombing in Afghanistan and says, I love these great patriots and their families. Um, again, this... This goes a long way towards showing how little Donald Trump gives a fuck. Because I got to tell you, if you were going to talk about these folks and you had all this time on your hand uh, and you had met with any any of the parents, much less all of them or some of them or whatever the fuck, I, I would suggest, if I may, that you, it might be smart <laughs> um, if you uh, did a little special video about each one of them individually like you gave a shit this dickhead does not mention any of these folks anyways and then he just moves on i love these people and they're great blah blah blah
Are you better off today or four years ago? Definitely better off than when COVID was uh, ravaging the country. So yes. Ah! So he posts all these things. My point is, is that all this stuff about um, his, uh, his, he's only confined to this social media site. He doesn't even um, like stick to the rules he's supposed to stay on that stupid little site. I got it found. Okay. I got it fixed. So here we go. That that's a threat to the jury pool. Congressman, all those grievances you have, uh, they <laughs> all those grievances you have uh, that are making your eyes disappear and move closer together and, and uh, how, how everyone thinks you're a fucking creep. What do you do? They go right back to a certain speaker of the house. And uh, well, you made your opinion quite clear last January. What are you gonna do? Well, in January, we developed a toolkit to actually solve these problems. And a <laughs> yeah, a toolkit. And as a tool, uh, I, I consider myself part of that. Essential to that toolkit was the ability to evaluate the funding for every agency individually with the ability to offer open amendments and have them voted on. Greg, we are 11 legislative days away from government default. And the way to take the knife to the Jack Smith funding, the way to zero in on the problems at the FBI and the department. No. Excuse me. No. This asshole cannot interfere in a, in a legal proceeding through the DOJ and just line item get rid of that by like hold the fucking nation's budget hostage until they cut off the funding to an investigation into Donald Trump that is actually bearing fruit and has plenty of evidence and va and validity to it. Never going to fucking happen. Never, not ever, not going to happen. Would be stupid if it could. This goes to my point about um, the uh, stroke of the pen fallacy where um, not only is it not possible, but you wouldn't want it to be. Department of Justice is to cut the money off and we haven't put ourselves in a position to do that, so. Right, and that position would be would require you having a lot more Republicans in office and you can't do that because you're a bunch of fucking lunatics and you don't have the votes. Uh, I'm gonna use every tool at our disposal and uh, mm -hmm. certainly uh, that means roofies, holding the speaker's feet to the fire and anyone else who would there's one of my favorite phrases. Hold the feet to the fire. Now, when they say it to their own, uh, who am I to get in between them and their stupid analogies? But using a torture analogy for someone that's supposedly on your side uh, is, is particularly gross. just want to continue what the Biden administration has done. We can do a lot better than this. We must do better than this. But it starts with the power. Mm, no, you can't. You cannot do better than this. You cannot. If you could, you would. But you can't. Power of the purse, a power we have not yet used effectively, but I want to focus us to do just that. Congressman Gates, Matt Gates, thank you very, very much. And thank you, Lindsey Halligan, Donald Trump attorney, along with the others. Good luck, and we'll be back. <laughs> along with the others. She's one of them. There's some of them. And of the some of them, she's one of them. She's great. Oh, man. Yeah. No, she's crazy. She is totally nuts. Um shit uh that's 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 the extent of it is that what we're doing